Hello everybody, uh, Dan Calloway here again, and um, I want to get into something that um, isn't discussed a lot in Linux, and that is CUPS. CUPS stands for Common Unix Printing Service, and this is uh, how Linux controls, uh, how it sets up printers uh, in the Linux system, how it accesses printers either locally uh, connected, USB, or otherwise, uh, or networked. I happen to have a an HP 2600 all-in-one printer, and it's a network-capable printer, so it's networked. It's a fax scanner printer, and um, I have a utility in Silent OS called the HP Device Manager. Uh, kind of uh, remarkably, though, it wasn't able to auto detect my printer on the network. Uh, I have the network uh, set up so that it is uh, statically assigned to 192.168.1.55. So when I get into um, the HP device manager, you can see now it is set up now. It says that it's in power save mode uh, seven minutes ago. Let's get into the manager and I want to show you um, what it says about that printer. Uh, it takes a few seconds for this to, to come up and then it takes a few seconds for it to actually engage um, so that you can see you know it's right now it, it's there but it's not showing any status um, <clears throat> no information available but it will here momentarily why it's taking a few minutes to do that I'm not really sure but that's okay so let's be patient in a few seconds here you can see the IP address is 192.168.155 okay now we're getting good status on the printer it says it's in power save mode uh, here's the date most recent uh, code 1046 uh, if I click on the actions button I can do a print or a test page print I can align the cartridge I can open the printers web page for in a browser I, I can do a lot of stuff um, can also go in supplies and see that I have here's my two cartridges tricolor and black tricolor is full blacks about oh, almost three-fourths full um, printer settings tells you what they are here and then printer control I can do a start printer stop printer I can reject jobs or I can set up a default uh, printer etc etc so I can click that set as default and that will set that printer up as my default printer in the system okay which uh, I believe I had set up already but uh, I noticed that it it uh, puts an icon up here for HP in the corner okay so it was set up and let me go ahead and close this interface uh, terminate it yes okay um, but I, as I said, the HP uh, icon didn't auto detect the printer for some reason. I'm not really sure why. So what I did to make that happen was I went into uh, the web, and Cups is controlled via a web browser. It's a common Unix print service, and it is controlled through your local host at port 631. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. I've got my browser set up, Firefox, so I've got a servers folder. And inside there, I've already set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the servers folder. And let's see, it's going to open it here in a second. Okay. And I've got CUP set up. It's version 2.2.1.0. And I believe it's going back to that server folder again. I hit it twice. It should only hit it once. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. So let's go back and try it again. Servers. All right. And then cups. All right. So that's going to open up the uh, home for cups, which is uh, version 2.2.1.0. Uh, here it is. Okay. And this is how you can control printers through the cups, all right, through the common Unix print service. I've already added the printer, so I'm going to go into um, adding printers and classes. 
and I don't need to add the printer or find it or manage it. What I'm going to do is go over to uh, let me see. Yeah, I do need to manage the printer. So let me click on manage printers. And here they are, and I've got it set up. It's a DeskJet 2600, and then it's set up in the CUP system as an HP DeskJet 2600 series printer. Uh, as a local raw printer, okay, and then also as a um, HP Cups 3.19.1 um, networked printer as well. So if I click on this link, it's going to open it up, and here it is. Um, the driver is the HP Cups 3.19.1 color printer. It's connected by an HP Net DeskJet. IP address of 192.168.155, which is correct. Uh, it's one-sided print only. It's not duplex and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I have set it up as the default printer. If I want to get into the administration of it, I can do a modification. I can do a delete, set default options, set server default, or set allowed users. If I click on set allowed users. Um, that interface here will open up shortly and it will show you what I have set up in there. Uh, user set allowed users. I forgot to click that button. Sorry. All right, so I've got root set up as the allowed user. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. All right. All right, so once I set up the printer in the CUPS interface here, um, and then went back into the HP manager, okay, you can see that it set it up for me. All right, so I'm not really sure why that is, but it worked. And so now, um, what's, what's neat about it is I have installed, uh, Silent OS comes with, uh, with Office, it only comes with Zathura and Dictionary. I went ahead and installed the free Office suite here in Silent OS. And TextMaker is equivalent of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office Word. It's a really neat uh, suite. It has the same equivalent to Excel and PowerPoint as well as Word. So here it is. Uh, it looks like it's got the ribbon and everything. It's just like Microsoft Word. All right. And um, there's review, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if I go to home, and if I go over to File, and if I open up a document, which I have set up, um, what I did earlier, what is Linux? Copy, and let's do OK, and open that up. What's a Linux swap? All right, so if I go over here and set up File, Print, okay, as you can see, DeskJet 2600 Cups is set up as the default printer in this application. And so if I click OK, it will actually print page one of one to the printer downstairs in my living room. I'm in the bedroom upstairs, uh, which is great. So, I mean, this is a wonderful system. Cups won the day here, uh, allowed me to set up my printer in Linux, and it prints beautifully, no problem. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to make sure that you guys realize that uh, you may need to, um, oh, it looks like I printed anyway, didn't mean to do that, but I printed. Um, you may need to uh, invoke CUPS through the web browser at your local host, uh, port 631. Make sure port 631 is open in the firewall if it's not, uh, and you should be able to print with no problem. All right, so this has been setting up your printer for network printer or local printer using CUPS, the common Unix print service, and using the HP desk uh, status service HP LIP manager in CentOS. Have a nice day.